What you're listening to and looking at are barrels of dirt contaminated with plutonium at the Nevada test site. Back in the 50s, someone wondered what would happen if a plane carrying nuclear bombs crashed. So the DOE used dynamite to blow up four nuclear bombs. The test spread around plutonium and the DOE walked away. But how much plutonium is still there today? Uh, no. That I really don't know and really can't see at this time frame in that, you know, you know the, they think that on the whole site, you know, there's probably less than 10 pounds of, of uh, plutonium. Scientists are trying to find out exactly how much plutonium is on the site and remove it by using machines like this to scrape up the dirt and machines like this to separate the radioactive waste from the soil. It's all done at this new treatability test facility. The first uh, demonstration at this facility, and it will use gravity separation as a method of removing plutonium and uranium from soils. The technique is, is very similar to uh, gold mining, which is done uh, throughout Nevada. That's because plutonium is heavier than dirt, so scientists think mining techniques should do much of the job. In the months to come, radioactive dirt here at the Nevada test site and four other sites across the country will pass through these gates to get cleaned up. Although waste materials from other states will be tested here, people here promise that Nevada will not become a clearinghouse for the nation's radioactive dirt if this project is successful. Bianca Farrar, News 3.